So how exactly does the hypertonic saline augment diuresis and help these patients who are having refractory heart failure? One of the thoughts is that the kidney is in a sodium avid state because these patients are being diuresed so much the uh, kidney starts to activate the RAS system, tries to retain as much sodium as possible. And so by actually administering hypertonic saline, you are going to obliterate those signals that the kidney is receiving to overactivate their RAS system. And that's gonna help them start to be able to diurese again. Another thought was that the bolus dosing of hypertonic saline may be able to mobilize fluid from the inter interstitial or third spaced uh, area to the intravascular compartment through osmotic forces. It has also been known for decades that renal salt sensing appears primarily driven by the chloride anion rather than the sodium cation. And so this was actually the exact scenario that we used hypertonic saline when I had a patient like this. 